Well, it's a different offense, obviously. Kelly Bryant is uh, the team leader for the Tigers and carries, but you have uh, Travis Etienne, the talented freshman out of Louisiana. You have Tavian Feaster, the sophomore. That They're young back there, but they've been dynamic. Those three have combined to run for 1,900 yards, and that'll be something on Saturday night that I think South Carolina is going to have to stop, have to slow down, have to try and, and limit the big plays in the run game. And certainly if you can do that, we will find out if Kelly Bryant is capable of beating the Gamecocks with his arm. He's got talented wide receivers. Deion Kane obviously is is the big time threat that you got to watch out for. But there's other guys. Hunter Renfro has always been solid and is a guy that that will make the big third down catch. So Clemson's offense still one of the best in the country. Uh, just you take away a player like Deshaun Watson, who's possibly on his way to NFL Rookie of the Year, you're going to have a slight step back. They've taken a step back. It's not as pronounced as I think some South Carolina fans was hoping it would be, though. I guess from a talent standpoint, the best uh, you could uh, make the comparison to here with Feaster and Etienne would be uh, Sony Michelle and Nick Chubb. They're at Georgia. And uh, so you can correlate uh, uh, success or lack thereof based on uh, a two-touchdown loss uh, from what I remember against uh, Georgia. Your thoughts about uh, the run defense trying to hold up against these two. They're at like uh, seven and a half yards per carry. Yeah, I, I think there's there's some similarities there. To me, it feels like Georgia's more of a power running team. Clemson's more of a more of a balanced offense. They can beat you in a variety. I mean, you aren't worried about Jake Fromm taking off and beating you with his legs for Georgia. Kelly Bryant is, can make some plays with his legs. So to me, it's just a different style of running attack where you've got Etienne and Feaster to go along with a with a guy like Kelly Bryant, who's got over 600 yards on the ground, 154 carries this year. Yeah, Clemson continues to churn out uh, the wide receivers, of course, and Hunter Renfro has been around for quite a long time, made a lot of huge catches in his career out of the slot with just one touchdown catch this year. Deion Kane, Ray Ray McLeod, a pretty fleet on the outside as well.